I'm sure you've heard the news about Mach 2 jets. But have you ever thought about what really happens to the air in front of them? Get ready for some shockingly cool science. When a plane blasts through the sky at Mach 2, it's not just slicing air, it's smashing straight into it. And boom, that's where shock waves are born. There are two main types, normal shocks and oblique shocks. Normal shock? Imagine the plane hitting a wall of compressed air head on. The airflow slams into a shock wave at a 90 degree angle, dropping instantly from supersonic to subsonic. But here's the catch. Massive drag, crazy heat, and not so great for your jet. Now, oblique shocks. That's clever engineering. Instead of a wall, these shocks hit at an angle, using sharp noses or angled intakes. The air slows down in stages. Less drag, more control, better efficiency. That's why jets like the Mirage 2000 use angled air inlets to create oblique shocks, funneling just the right amount of compressed air into their engines. Too many normal shocks? Your engine can choke. Oblique shocks? They keep your bird flying fast and smooth. Normal shocks equal brute force. Oblique shocks equal brains. That's how supersonic stays super.